Okay, welcome back. Now let's quickly understand the scope in which we are operating. Why it all matters. WordPress websites that make up about 25% of the total websites on the internet. And it's a big figure. We are talking about the billions of websites and 25% of it belongs to WordPress website. So when something is famous, obviously it gets attention. And do you know, tens of thousands of websites every single day get blacklisted on the internet or de-indexed by the Google, which means Google no longer let them be on their search engine directory. It's a scary figure. Let me share with you. Here we have a website, internetlivestats.com, and it's showing you statistics of different services. We have 3.5 billion online users, total number of websites about 1.15 billion, and you know some very interesting statistics. The figure I am interested in and I want to show you is this. 54,900 and you know it's continuously taking. So these are number of websites that are hacked today. Just today. You know I just mentioned tens of thousands. We are talking about here 55,000 just today. So that's how scary the statistics are. So we need to take the WordPress security seriously. Another thing I would like to mention WordPress.org, they release a lot of security updates just to keep on top of all the security issues or vulnerabilities around. Okay, and as you can see, we are on their website, and here's a link. And these are number of updates they have released. The last one was in January 26th. Okay, and the scary part is if you click any of them, it will show you the security issues and the patch that has fixed the issue. Now this information sounds very, very transparent for end user. I mean, we as end user would love to hear what was the problem and how to fix it. Okay, but the same information is available to hackers as well. Now imagine, if they have released a updated patch, but some of the people haven't installed this new patch on their WordPress, so their WordPress website is open to these vulnerabilities. And guess what? Hackers know them as well. Hackers have already found out through this website what are those vulnerabilities and how they can exploit it to hack into any site. Okay, so security is an important part of your business. Don't worry if I'm scaring you off. Trust me, I'm just building a base to give you an idea that how serious this is and how far this can impact. And again, the purpose of this course is to equip you with all the necessary knowledge and actionable advice that you can follow and protect your website. Okay. Now let's carry on. So clearly we are defining who is responsible to secure your business. It's you. It's the same thing. Who is responsible to secure your house? Of course you. Okay. The state has a responsibility but at the end of the day who is responsible? Same thing. The WordPress is responsible to keep the WordPress platform up to date but it's your responsibility to keep your website up to date as well. Okay. So it's your responsibility. But in fairness, what happened? Unfortunately, security is a continuous activity. It's a continuous part of your business. The things I will taught you in this course, if you will implement them properly, yes, your website will be secure. But if you will not practice them on continuous or regular basis, then the entire effort is useless. So you need to put in place a plan, directives. Okay. It's not a one-time effort. It's a continuous activity that you have to merge with your strategic goals. Okay, here's a quick question. Can we afford to ignore the security? The cost is huge. If we ignore the security, it can impact us strategically, financially, organizationally, legally, technologically, and operations-wise. Okay, let me break this down for you. Let's talk about how this can impact strategically. You need to assess that you can neglect security and still achieve your business inherent objectives that are strategically in line with your business goals. Okay, let me explain. Let's say you want to expand your online business in Europe and imagine if your website is not secure enough to manage the data privacy of your customers. Do you know under the GDPR rules, the data protection rules, mishandling the data of European people can cost you more than 20 million euros. Trust me, these are not the figures I'm making this up you can Google it. I'm just trying to sketch a broader picture. In case you're running an organization, you happen to be an owner of the organization, so you need to view the implications widely. If you are running an individual website, then again, this is something you need to consider.
Okay, financial implications. How this will affect financially? Of course, we know once the Google will find the security breach of your website, it will de-index or blacklist your website. This means you will lose the traffic to your website and I cannot stress enough that you can only make money online if you have people coming to your website. So huge financial implications. What effect it will leave on your organization? Take an example of some of the recent hacks in 2016. Talk Talk Company. They have to pay the fine, apologies and business damage as well. Imagine the morale of the employee and organization behavior under these stressful time. Very serious stuff. How this will impact technologically? It will reflect how secure you are or how trusted your technology is. If the customers don't trust your technology, they will not deal with you. Simple. And how about operations? Imagine your website is down and you happen to sell products online and there is a customer support section delivery section and rest of the whole shebang that associate with the e-commerce business. If the orders are not coming as the website is down, it will cost you huge in operations. You are paying people and they are doing nothing. How about the legal side? I think there is a hint I have already given, but the legal implications in terms of fines are huge, depending what kind of security breach occurs and the scale of the damage. So fellow, this is a very serious stuff we are talking about. But trust me, after completing this course, you will be equipped enough with the knowledge to manage everything on your website. Do you know the number one vulnerability of your website? The researcher says it's the honor of the website. You need to take this seriously and you have to implement this in order to protect your business. I'm assuming you are running your own website. In case if you are owner and you have a web developer working for you, the things which I will share with you in this course, you can delegate this to your subordinates and they can do it for you. And before I move forward, there is another article I would like to share with you that actually happened this week. So WordPress hack sees 1.5 million attacks in feeding frenzy. This was the attack happened last week and affected more than 800,000 in 48 hours. You can read about this in more detail. Just to summarize this, it was a new update that WordPress has released but some of the websites did not install the new update and that caused the security breach. Now let's answer the question why this will happen to you. Okay, I will see you next video. Okay, since we are talking about the hackers, let's understand their motives. The question you can think of that why in a blue word they will hack my website? I have a very small website, maybe I'm just a blogger or running an e-commerce store or selling few items. Well my friend, it's nothing personal. It's their business. They do it for the business, for money, for fun or to steal traffic. Most of the attacks are automated, which means they try to exploit certain vulnerabilities to hack into your site through software or automated processes like brute force. Okay. I will explain these terms in detail in my later videos. Don't worry, I will teach you how to stop them. But let's understand what they can do once they are on your website, okay? They can create doorways, leading people to different pages or sites or diverting traffic. They can add affiliate links to your website, which means if anybody will click on those links and purchase something, they will earn. So in another way, they're not only making money through your site, or on your expense but also stealing your traffic. They can install downloadable programs or poison the links. Through this way they can hack more people. Okay? Poison links mean they will attach executable program to the links and if anybody will hover over on those links they will download immediately without asking permission. Okay? They can install malwares to infect other people and then they will sell them products. Okay? Interesting marketing concept. They can also redirect the traffic to their website or sell traffic to other people. Okay, interesting point. So they can take money from other people and divert traffic from your site to their site and that's how they will make money. Okay, and sometimes it's also to damage business repute. Unfortunately, jealousy can go way longer than we can think of. People pay money to bring other people's websites down. Trust me, I've seen this as I do provide services of SEO and I've seen sometimes clients come with different intentions. So you have to be careful. 
As you can see on the slide, there are certain examples I've quoted where majority of the hacks occur due to the vulnerabilities 50,000 sites hacked through the WordPress plugin vulnerability, uh, 100k WordPress sites uh, compromised by malware due to the plugin vulnerability, and 100,000 WordPress sites compromised using this revolution security vulnerability. So, so fellow, the good news for us is most of the attacks are preventable. Okay, we can prevent them. Okay, now we fully understand if the things go wrong, how far they can go. These are some of the examples, okay? So let's move forward and build the base of this course by laying down the foundation that what we will cover in this course. I will see you in the next slide. Okay, welcome back. Now holistically, this is what we are going to cover in this course. Let's have a look into the cycle of securing your entire transition. First, we will discuss what are the local security controls to protect the devices you use to access your website. Okay, we need to secure those boundaries before we talk about the website. Secondly, we will look into selecting the right web hosting and how they can be helpful in certain circumstances and the features that can prevent hacking attacks. Then we will look into avoiding bad themes. We'll explore free versus paid theme and we'll analyze the pros and cons. Once the things are in place, we'll change the user settings to protect administrator's account. We will remove unnecessary defaults of the WordPress as sometimes they lead to vulnerability. We'll change the permissions on your strategic directories or the directories that contains the most important files of your WordPress website. We'll also look into how to change the security keys or salt to keep the environment secure. And finally, we'll look into the backup and the recovery procedure and how we can automate this process. At the end of this course, I would expect you to have a definite plan, a formal plan for your website in which you will define the directives that who will access your website, from where and if possible the IP addresses, and you will list down the controls you have implemented to prevent the hacking or brute force attacks on your website, and what detective measurements you have put in place in your website in terms of malware scanners or monitoring, and finally, what are the recovery procedures that you have put in place, for example, where the backup is getting stored and how to access it in case of emergency. You know, these four things, directives, preventive, detective and recovery, these four aspects of your entire website securing cycle will help you to deal with any difficult time in case your website get hacked and also will look into the situation in case your website get compromised, how to bring it to the normal state, okay? So with me now, excited? Now let's start this course and understand the three levels of security. Okay, welcome back. Now let's talk about the levels of security. The first level covers the local devices, the devices that you use to access your website. Put in this way, if your website is secured, but your PC or laptop is not, might it will be your device that will cause the hack. Someone may install a keylogger on your PC or a laptop and read all the login credentials all day, any day, any time. So securing website is not enough. The security has to start from the local devices. We will explore the level one in a lot more detail and we'll look into the softwares that gonna help us to achieve this objective. The second level security covers the devices that you do not use directly but help you to access your website on the internet. I'm referring here to your broadband or Wi-Fi router how secure these devices are. Are they password protected? Are they using any encryption to protect your data? We'll touch base on this level briefly and discuss you know, how we can secure it. So the third level of the security covers the web hosting company servers and security of your website. And here we are talking about your WordPress website security. As you can see, it's not enough just to secure your website as the potential hack can occur from any direction. Just imagine a person sitting outside your house with a laptop and Wi-Fi adopter. If your Wi-Fi device is not encrypted or protected, he or she can monitor your traffic and potentially hack the login credentials that you are using to access your website. Thanks to internet and websites like piratebay.com, many free softwares are available that can do this magic. So give them hard time by securing your working environment. Now let's start the level one security and let's see which softwares can help us to achieve this objective. 
Okay, welcome back. Now let's talk about the local security first. I have divided the local security into three steps. We will be talking about antivirus software solutions, malware software solutions, and the password management under the local security theme. Let's dig down and talk about these solutions. Now since we are talking about the antiviruses and the malware protection softwares, now this is a good time to ask questions that when did you last time scan your system or PC? When did you last time scan your external storage devices like USB sticks or your external hard disk? Or is your internet browser is secure and encrypted? Like your all activities that you are performing on internet is secured and protected. If you are using your system to access your internet banking, are you confident that your information is encrypted and secured that you're passing through your PC? Now here I'm assuming you guys already have some sort of antivirus or malware protection installed on your PC and if not then this is a good time to think about it. And before we go into the free versus the paid debate I would like to share my personal and professional view on these solutions. I usually go for paid solutions only because in case if I have a problem there is someone who can support me in the issue. The problem with the free softwares or packages are they're good to use and most of the time help to do the job what they meant to do. But the problem occurs when you hit with a problem and there is no support available. And that's when you can realize that saving few quits can cause you a lot of trouble, especially if you are dealing with the businesses. Because I run a lot of services, so for me it's absolutely pivotal and important that I use paid services and I take leverage of the support teams in case if I hit with any problem. Let me share with you some of the solutions that are there and I will share with you some of the discount coupons which will save you some money in case if you are going to purchase them. I will see you next video. Okay welcome back. Now here is a page that I have compiled for you. I will put its link either on the screen or in a resource section. And here I have combined all the discount coupons that I could have found for decent software that we will be talking about in this section. Here you will see all the different antiviruses we will be talking about, malwares, etc. etc. Okay, now let's have a look into very first antivirus. This is Bullguard, premium protection they, they call it. And uh, the reason I like it comes with the, with the really decent features like encrypted cloud backup, identity protection, parental control. Okay, and this software is available for both Mac and Windows operating system and built-in firewall as well. Now here they are selling it on uh, roughly 70 pound. But if you go through the links I have provided you on the resource link, let's say if you click on this, you will get a 60% discount, which means the complete package you will get in under £30, okay? Which is uh, decent, you know, and antivirus is about £20, uh, roughly as we talk about. So yeah, the first one is Bulgar. It's really good, available for both Windows and Mac. The second one we are going to look into is called Avast Antivirus. Okay, and this one is also available for both Windows and Mac. And here you can see the Pro Antivirus package, which is about 50 euro. It contains intelligent antivirus, cyber capture, behavior shield, smart scan, sandbox. This is good if you are testing. Wi-Fi inspector, browser cleanup, the passive mode. Okay, and here they are selling it 50 euro. But if you go through my links, you will get a 20% discount. Okay, so. This is the second one. Again, these softwares have a free version as well, but I have already stated my opinion about the free versions. These packages are available on trial basis too, so you can test it. Whatever you like, you can uh, keep it for your system. And the third one I have is Casper Sky. This is really good. You're running about 40% offer at the moment. I personally like this. And it comes with both antivirus and malware protection. The total security that includes internet and antivirus is about uh, $60 and again the free trial version is also available and you can see whatever fits your need and the last one I'm going to discuss is McAfee this is also good they're running some offers about 40% or 50% discount 50% okay as you can go for the total protection or antivirus if this is what you are looking for um, again guys these are under uh, 30 or 40 quid not much money compared to the benefits you are going to get out of it okay and these all softwares are compatible with the Mac and you can install it on two or three devices I think that's what they offer again the whole idea is pick whatever suit your need go through with them go through with their features you know get it 
and install it. After installing it, I will encourage you to set your PC for a full scan and I would also want you to do the scheduling, weekly based schedule or monthly based schedule to scan your entire PC or your external hard disk. Because the antivirus, they release a lot of definitions and it's good to update them and then scan your system. So these are the resources for the antivirus you can go through and pick whatever suit your need. Now we are going to talk about malware protection, why it is important and how keyloggers are ripping people and millions of dollars of scams are going on every year. Okay, we'll talk about this in the next video. Okay, welcome back. Now let's talk about the keyloggers. This software is available all over the internet. Now what this software does, it basically record everything that you do on your PC, including anything that you type, the login ID and passwords you use, internet banking or your website or you know any personal use, could be your emails as well. So it records all the text that you type, all the website addresses that you have listed, and also it can capture the screenshot of your PC. And this all information it can send via email or can drop as a text to any messenger, ICQ or Yahoo or you know stuff like that. It's a very dangerous piece of software. If somebody can install this, it can steal anything from your PC. The reason I want to emphasize on the software is sometimes antivirus they don't detect it. And that's where malware software helps us to detect or remove these sort of packages. Now think about it how much damage it can cause. If a person is knowing all of your activity on the internet and let's say you're running a business where you are providing services or selling products to your customers and you're holding information if your personal login credentials are compromised then all of your customers or clients information is at risk and I think I have already alluded about this in my previous video that the GDPR data protection act the fine could be up to 20 million euro let's talk about some of the incidents here's the first one police file keylogger scam the British High Tech Crime Unit foils what would have been one of the biggest computer crimes in history where thieves attempted to transfer $420 million from a London branch of a Japanese bank, Sumitomo Mitsu. Now the interesting part is here. The thieves are believed to have hacked into the bank's computer system using information gathered from keylogger programs which allowed them access to sensitive passwords and other computer information. At present, it is not clear how the keyloggers were installed. This particular software has given them access to everything. Here is another one. Attack campaign uses keylogger to hijack key business email accounts. Companies from 18 countries were target with Olympic Vision keylogger. It's an article you can go through. Again, this is also another good blogger. It's a cryptonsecurity.com. He writes quite a good and an informative topics around security. And this is another article he wrote about how keyloggers are getting installed uh, at hotel or public places where you know where the scammers steal people's information and then use it to book the hotel's rooms or to buy the stuff from online. And you can do anything. Okay, sometimes you sell uh, this sort of information in the black market too. So scary stuff. Now we understand there are certain programs that can give us a lot of problem. So what we need is a robust security solution. We have already decided about the antivirus. Now we are going to talk about dedicated malware software. I would like to have two separate softwares, one to protect from the viruses and another one for the malware because I've seen previously sometimes antivirus doesn't pick the malware Trojans. Having a dedicated system helped me, at least a peace of mind that I have put my whole effort in to protect my working PC or workstation. So let's talk about the malware softwares that are available and can help us to achieve this. Okay, welcome back. Now here we have four malware protection solutions available and I have scavenged the discount coupon for you on the same page. Okay, we have a Casper Sky, Malware Bytes, EVG Antivirus and Malware Remover and also Mac Keeper Total Security Solution. The fourth one, this is basically for Mac only. I am a kind of window person but my colleagues, those who are using Mac operating systems or Mac computers, they recommend that this is the best one. So let's talk about them. My favorite is Malware Bytes. It's roughly £35 per year, one PC. Again, it comes with a free trial version as well for 14 days. We can try this. And the paid version is for £35. The free version comes with the basic facilities, but it does the job. Entirely up to you, whatever you choose. So we have Malware Bytes. This is my favorite one. And the second one we have is a Casper Sky. We've already discussed this particular package provides both antivirus and malware protection support 
and it is also available on 40% discount. The third one we have AVG antivirus. This is good software also available as a free version with the limited features but you can purchase it if you want the full package and it will cost you 50 pound a year available for free download and free trial uh, you can test with this pretty good one pretty good one I would say and the last one as I talk about is Mac Keeper this one uh, you can download it I think it contains about 11 different solutions within the same package and uh, you get a 20% discount for this one. So this one is for Mac operating system. So among these four solutions, you can pick any one. I personally use Malwarebyte. Uh, you have options of four with the discount coupons, whatever fits in your budget, whatever fits in your uh, your protection theme. Just go with it. Again, as I said, some of them are available as a free as well with the basic functionality. So you can pick and choose whatever you like. And once you will install these softwares, please give your system a full scan and make sure you set the schedule as well for a weekly scanning of your PC and, and external devices. Okay. Now let's talk about the password manager solutions, uh, packages that can help you to store your password. Password vulnerability is also one of the major factors where people choose a very weak password for their login credentials. That's where the brute force can crack the password and the likelihood of your website getting hacked is higher with the weak password. Uh, I will also share a couple of uh, gadgets with you that will help you to select secured and difficult password. So let's look into password management solutions. Okay, welcome back. Now let's talk about the password management solution. So I have two solutions for you. The one is RoboForm and another one is LastPass. Why do we need password management solution? Mainly for a number one reason that we should use complex password and different passwords for all our online activities. For example, if we log into our laptop, we should have a password. If we log into our website, we should have a secured password. And of course, if we check our emails, Amazon account, Facebook, social media, etc., etc., you know, all those accounts should have a different passwords, but the complex passwords. And it is very difficult for us to remember all the complex passwords all the time. So most often what people do, they pick one password and replicate it across. And the problem with this approach is your all accounts are at risk. If your one account get compromised, guess what? The rest of them are already at the risk. In those situations, password management softwares help. So what they allow you, they allow you to pick any complex password which you don't need to remember and you only need to remember one single password which is the master password which you put on once you sign up with these services. So basically one master password and then these packages contain all rest of your passwords. All you need to do is to install one of the package and you are good to go. Now let's have a look. So here on the same page, you can click on any of uh, this link. We have a RoboForm and we have LastPass and it will take you to their respective pages. And both of them have a free accounts and paid version as well. So here we have LastPass so, and they sell the premium package as well, which is, I guess, 12 or $13. Yeah, a dollar a month, so it's a $12, okay, which is just peanut compared to the services and the support you're getting. And let's understand what exactly LastPass is and how it can help you. So here we have a tutorials as well. So let's go through the first one. So, you know, this is a complete management solution. As you can see, um, you know, you can access your old applications through the different platforms. So what exactly it is, what you need to do is to, once you are on the website, get LastPass free. This is a free version. You can get the paid version as well by going through here. Okay, or go go premium. And uh, once you will download it, it will install a browser extension. Here at the corner, you can see these three dots. This is the extension. And once it will install the extension, it will ask you to sign up. And you have to obviously set an email address and master password, which you have to remember. Now once you click on this link, it will show you all the features that are available to you. You can 
insert the sites that you want to store with the password I will show you uh, one of the example how we can do it okay and another good feature of this is it comes with a password generator so you can generate secure password and it will generate password for you you click this circle and it will refresh random password you can pick any password uh, for a new service okay so this is LastPass password management solution and the second one is RoboFoam so let's hear what they have to say so it's a similar service we just talked about and it's available for different platforms Windows Mac Android iOS I think the cost is about $19 let's check on a buy now so yeah, it's a 1995 so about $20 for a year okay which is good so you can pick any of the package which suits your need and which you are comfortable with again both packages have free version so you can test and see um, which one works for you and just take it from there again the same approach uh, once you will click download now it will add a browser extension see this extension over here if you click on there and these will show you the options and again it comes with the generate password functionality too so you can create a secured password now since we are talking about password and why it is important that we pick the secured one here is another site I'm going to share with you and this is how secure is my password.net okay so you know here you can test whether your password is secured or the likelihood of its getting hacked how long it will take for somebody to crack your password uh, you know the most common one people use is admin123 and you can see it will take only one minute through the brute force and they can crack the password so always choose a complex password and we will talk about the passwords in the coming videos and we'll look into you know do's and don't when selecting the passwords so these are the resources pick any one of them and go with it and this will definitely make your life easier now since we have talked about antivirus malware and the password management solution with the how to check whether your password is secure or not now this is a time to talk about the level 2 security hello and welcome back now we are going to talk about the level 2 security on level 2 security all the devices that we access to connect to internet these mainly are your routers or Wi-Fi devices now in this section we'll look how to access your Wi-Fi router and enable Mac filtering which is media access controller in case if you're not familiar what a Mac address is here I have a screenshot in front of you if you click on the start or the window button of your windows depending upon the operating system you are using and go to the command line by typing CMD and there if you type a command ipconfig space forward slash all you will be able to see all the media access controller information available on your PC and here you will see your host name which is your computer name and the physical address this one is your MAC address so this address is unique for each PC okay so when we say enable MAC filtering and Wi-Fi your Wi-Fi router contains the list of the devices or unique IDs the MAC addresses through that it identify how many devices are connected with it so you can enable this MAC filtering by allowing only the whitelist or the list of people that you want them to have access to your internet so basically you're just permitting particular MAC addresses to have access on your internet or your Wi-Fi and any device which does not have that MAC address will not be able to access it okay so this is called MAC filtering and we'll look into enabling encryption which is WEP or WPA2 WEP stand for Wide Equivalent Privacy and WPA2 is Wi-Fi Protected Access 2 which is the most secured most of the routers the new generations one come with the WPA2 uh, encryption enabled but if not I will show you how to do it and the last option which is again optional disabling syst broadcasting or your service set identifier broadcasting this is the name of your Wi-Fi you know when you search through your device it displays you the list of available Wi-Fi addresses that list is basically the syst list or the name of the Wi-Fi that are available to you. you can disable this broadcasting on your Wi-Fi which means 
you will have a little bit difficulty setting this up. It's a bit technical, but again, that's where your service provider can help you to do this. I will not encourage you to do this. So if you have taken care of first two, three options, you know, you will be fine. But this is option for you. Now here I have a document prepared for you. How to make a wireless network secured. The first thing you need to do is to access your wireless router. And the way you can do it, you can type this IP address uh, 192.168.1.1 in your browser and this will give you access to your router front page. If it's not password protected, you will be able to see all the options. But if it is password protected, you can always seek information uh, from your network service provider and they will be able to assist you with the login ID and password. Once you are in your account, you will be able to enable Mac filtering through the options. The most of the options are available under the administration or administrator section and you can also enable encryption. Uh, you have to select WPA2. If you're not familiar with this, again seek support from your uh, network service provider. They will be able to do this for you. Uh, and as I said, most of the new generation routers are coming with this option enabled already. So if it's already selected, it's fine. And if it is not, please select WPA2. Some of the older devices, they might won't have this option. So you got to enable Mac filtering and you can select WEP and probably disable the assist as well, uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, but I will highly encourage use WPA2 encryption as far as possible. And then further, the last point is basically disabling SIST broadcasting. Again, before disabling this option, check with your network provider in case you have to set up your devices through a different procedure, which definitely would be. So you already know what steps you need to take once you will disable SIST. Okay, always seek support of your service provider. So this is a document I will add into the resource section. You can access it and you can check your router's functionalities or possibilities that can also help you with the network protection. So with this in mind, let's move on to the level three security. And that's where we are going to talk about the hosting companies and the theme selections uh, or the plugin selections that are pivotal when it comes to security. I will see you next video. Okay, welcome back. Now let's talk about the level three security. Here we are going to talk about the hosting companies. Now the very first thing that comes in our mind that how we can save some money. We all want to have more services and pay less, uh, but in reality, so here comes the cheap hosting versus expensive hosting debate, okay? So which one we should go for? Well, it's a same psychology from the web hosting company's point of view. If they have to sell you cheap or less costly solution, they have to cut the corner. They have to reduce the quality of service. Yes, the marketing material will give you big promises, but in reality, they will host your website on a shared, less secure, less resource accessibility CPU or low CPU, these sort of servers, and that's how they can give you a dollar or two dollar hosting. Most often, they use such tactics as a bait. So once you will host your website and had any issue, they will ask you to pay $199 or $499 costly solution to fix it. Trust me, that's, that's a weird world we are living in and I have seen this happening to people. So what is a shared hosting? In simple words, uh, whatever we do, it affects our neighbors. So if we are running resource-hungry scripting or plugins on our website, it will slow down other websites because all websites are on the same server. Well, actually, not all, but there must be many websites on the same server. So if our website is hacked, most likely other people are at risk too because they are sharing the same server. So similarly, if someone else's website got compromised, then we are at risk. That's the nature of shared hosting. And if we are hosting on such a cheap servers or less costly servers, then good luck. Wait for the time when the problem occurs and then you will see the response of those companies. We'll have a look into a couple of examples where people have shared their experiences online. So what are the options? First, conduct your due diligence. Check the web hosting plans carefully. Ask them direct question. What's your security features? What's your backup strategies? What support they provide if website is in compromising state? And how often do you scan the websites for the malwares? And do you share that data with your customers? And how about the firewall? And what about the softwares that are running the websites, for example, the PHP and MySQL? Are they up to date, etc., etc.? On top of this, also conduct online checks. 
consult Google, okay? And there is also a very famous form, uh, webhostingtalk.com, consult that. This will give you great insight what's happening in a hosting world. Consider this, if we are securing our website and taking all possible measures to protect our online business, but the hosting server is not secure, we are just wasting our time, resource and money. It's not helping us in any way. You will be amazed to see quite a lot of web hosting companies have a track record of hacked websites. Hosting companies like Coderi and Bluehost in particular. Let's check a few examples and you will have an idea. Here we have 50,000 sites hacked through the WordPress plugin vulnerability. The link is in front of you but the point I want to make is we scroll down this paragraph. Okay. On most shared hosting companies like GoDaddy and Bluehost etc, one account cannot access files from another account. So the cross contamination would be restricted to sites within the same account. Said that. However, in other cases, if the server is not properly configured, okay, now that's that's the point. If the server is not properly configured, which is not uncommon, then the infection can spread to all the websites and accounts on the same server. Okay, can you see how dangerous it is? You must select good hosting service. It doesn't mean that all the shared services are bad services when we really go for cheaper solutions. And that's what we face. Another example here, you know, the Bluehost website, that's a very famous forum, reddit.com, and people are discussing. They had a website on Bluehost and uh, they got infected. And then the Bluehost asked them to pay $199 to fix the problem okay so <laughs> this is called digital ransom you know uh, so another example here we have um, malware spreading drive by attack relies on hacked GoDaddy account so you know the GoDaddy accounts were compromised and they were using it to hack further websites very interesting articles you can read them you know to have a, a kind of vibe when things go wrong how far they can go uh, and here's a lady and she, you know, bless her, she shared her detailed experience about uh, Bluehost company. You know, I was really amazed the kind of service they've provided and all the evidence she has put together basically. Uh, she has recorded what was the problem and then she explained the response she got from the Bluehost and then they were actually asking her to pay for the Site Doctor plugin, you know, the software to remove the malware and they were asking about $250 for this. And she was continuously in this trauma, tried to resolve it uh, to the best of her ability without paying it and uh, having some decent response in terms of what exactly went wrong. And uh, here she has actually given a transcript of the call she has made to the blue host. And uh, you know, it's, it's surprising that the companies can treat their customers the way and they have treated her. And eventually she ended up moving her entire uh, website's portfolio to a new service. You know, the point I was mentioning previously about they will sell you cheap, but then they have further traps where they will get you to pay more. Okay, so mindful of these companies, conduct your due diligence, check the online forums, um, you know, search on Google, and do not follow the fake review site. Uh, there are plenty of them, people pay them, and they, they write a good reviews. So, you know, the forum like webhostingtalk.com, that's a good one. And I have a couple of recommendations the one I'm using I will share in the next video okay welcome back now we are on the same resource page and here I have three web hosting companies that I would like to share with you and the one is 123reg.co.uk that's UK based the second one is hostgator that's the one I use and the third one is one and one web hosting Again, these all three web hostings I'm recommending based on the recommendations I've received from my colleagues and my personal experience. So let's start with the 123reg. So here we are on 123reg.co.uk and so they're running a campaign of £2 per month services. Um, so let's check. We have here web hosting for £249 per month excluding VAT and we have WordPress hosting okay that's the hosting we are interested in and that's for the five uh, pound per month let's check the details okay in a detail we have two packages business and premium business package is three pound per month 
for the first year and then it will be five pound per month and the premium is 15 pound per month for the first year and then it's a 20 pound after a year the difference between both is basically if you want to host a personal blogging website then the business will be fine and if you're looking for a web commerce based or e-commerce based solution then premium would be better because it will come with SSL secure socket layer as well so let's check what we have here we have uh, one domain included and you can host unlimited websites however under this package you can host only five websites again you know for the bloggers they usually run two or three websites so this is ideal for the bloggers and this is good for the e-commerce based solution uh, some of the features uh, performance and reliability okay load balancing that's a plus so load balancing of servers mean if any servers get uh, high traffic they divert the traffic to another server create a virtual server and then and that's how they balance the traffic rather than all the load on one machine or one device it shared the load among the several devices so that's how the device failure rate get really low it's a high uptime sort of solution unmetered bandwidth you know don't worry about reaching your traffic or being charged extra as all data is unlimited uh, backup and restore that's another plus okay they do backup and restore for you uh, site migration facility is available auto updates they auto update your WordPress website which is great and also comes with the security features uh, like firewall so you know these are the features you can go in a detail so two packages at the moment business or premium whatever suit your need you can go with this but this hosting company is really good people had uh, given a good comment about the services the second one I have is Hostgator. That's the company I'm using. Brilliant service and um, brilliant customer support. Great features with a reasonable money. Uh, let's check the packages. And they are offering WordPress hosting for $6 per month. Again, you are getting 20% discount as well via the resource page I shared with you. Okay. So let's learn about the WordPress hosting package. Let's see what they are offering. I'm sure they are offering backups and malware removal services as well. But let's see. We have a standard plan here. Uh, you can host two sites. And it's about 7.95 per month. That's a dollar. Okay. And the features include it's a faster loading time due to CDN, multiple caching layers, and the cloud architecture. Uh, clean so auto backup again you know the service I talk about they do auto backup and restores as well I had a couple of issue and you know the service was brilliant they restored it uh, very quickly had very minimum downtime in terms of recovery so free migration they can migrate your website from another hosting company to their hosting company they have tools available and here they are talking about how the service is better than WP engine and media template you know what extra they are offering and um, I haven't seen somewhere the malware removal um, okay here automatic malware removal service is also included okay so you know if we buy let's say this plan and we choose 12 month billing cycle again the higher you choose you know the less you pay but if you go for the 12 month for example and if I scroll down the thing I want to show you is you will get a discount so the discount is ninety six dollar discount you are getting and this is the discount coupon again if you also use another discount coupon which is B A R A Q 101 I will type it on the screen that will give you extra discount as well so hostgator that's another service brilliant you know I mentioned about they have security auto malware removal they have backups restore and multiple hosting websites and unlimited uh, bandwidth for the traffic so this is the second solution hostgator and I personally use this the third one is one and one dot com they are really good as well uh, their uh, unlimited plus package which is a five dollar per month for the first 12 months and then after it's a ten dollar they are offering SSL included and uh, I'm interested in security well CDN is also there so which is brilliant so top features included unlimited web space and uh, memory you have 1.2 GB RAM which is okay and CDN included Te under technology 
Okay, so the site lock basic is also included. Okay, site protection and recovery is also included. Daily backup, brilliant. Geo redundancy, okay, that's excellent. And password protection directories, again, good. More about this we will cover in our course. And redundant network connectivity, this is also included. So, you know, brilliant package and unlimited FTP accounts. So you can select this if you really want to. Again, this is five pound, sorry, five dollar per month, and then it's a ten dollar after a year. So three services, choose whatever suits your need. I'm sure there are many services available on the internet, but these three I've choose based on the recommendations I've received from the colleagues and in my personal experience dealing with the hosting companies. I'm personally using. You will notice this in coming videos uh, when I will be installing WordPress and how to install. WordPress securely on your hosting and domain I will be using Hostgator as my backend panel so these are the three companies I can recommend pick anyone that suits your need and again refer to the resource page you will get a discount coupon from there and you will be happy bunny okay now this concludes our selection of hosting now let's talk about how to pick a secured theme for your WordPress uh, installation there are plenty of platforms where you know you can buy or you can get free WordPress themes but we will talk about the free versus paid and from where to buy and from where not to buy uh, the themes in a coming lecture okay I will see you in the next video okay time to talk about themes and plugins actually we should talk about WordPress as well but trust me it's very secure and WordPress.org they roll out updates very quickly the majority of the problems come from the themes and plugins that we install. I'm not saying we are the problem creators, <laughs> but usually we don't put enough measurements in place for auto updates and securing plugins or themes. Okay, let's talk about free versus paid themes and plugins debate. Which one is your favorite? Let's go for free first, okay? Because everybody loves free stuff. Pros and cons. So positive side and the negative side, okay? Okay, the plus point is it's absolutely free so these plugins and themes are absolutely free easily accessible over the internet and you can find expensive themes and plugins free in a black market or various platforms I will share with you because this is an education course I want you to see the both sides of the coin and then decide which one you should go for now let's talk about the negative aspect of free themes and plugins and why they offer them free Usually they are not very well written and there are security flaws in coding. I'm not saying all free versions have this problem, but most of the time, if you find them free from the black market, they are tempered. We'll talk about this in a lot more detail. Usually there is no support available. So if you're using free themes or plugins and your business is down, don't expect an early response because obviously they have gave them free for a reason. Just imagine why someone will sit down and give you 24 7 support for the themes and plugins that he or she is offering free okay it doesn't work like that all the crack themes are basically the paid themes which people have stripped the licensing code and they don't require a serial key anymore most of the time people use it for the dark activities remember the hackers motives we talk about in the start of this course the free themes help them to achieve it so they use encrypted hidden cores for malicious intentions. I will share with you some examples that how to access paid themes as a free, but remember what I just mentioned. It's a bait to use the person website on the later stage, okay? They offer free products, but when people find themselves in a problem, they charge ridiculous money to support you. And most of the time, they want you to pay to become a premium member to get 24-hour service. So as I mentioned, these free themes that are available on internet, especially on the black platforms, they are infected and maliciously structured. As the website is cracked version and not supported, so it becomes outdated very quickly. And also, it can lead our website for malware infection as the updates are not up to date. Serious stuff, huh? Okay, now let's talk about the paid themes or plugins. The nature of these packages are, they are very well written and supported. They receive regular updates, so fully comply with the security standards. Also, the company support you in case you have any issue. I would say pay to get support and live hassle-free. So the only cons that I can see is basically money. Yes, you have to pay to get the service. 
So my friends, if you are running a serious business, then I will strongly advise not to take risk for $20 or $30 theme or plugin. Just buy premium versions with the support to face less hassle in the future. Be at the safe side, trust me. It's not a good feeling when your business is down and you're losing money and company will not support you. As they will find out quickly, either you are using a free version or the cracked version which they will never support. Okay, so be mindful. Now, let's go in deeper and have a look into some of the platforms I was talking about. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, welcome back. Now, here's the first resource where you can get the themes or plugins free. I will not recommend you to use them, but as I said, for education purpose, I would like to show you the both sides of the coin. Okay, the very first website is a piratebay.com. I'm using a proxy. It's uh, blocked in a, in the UK, or especially on my network. But on this website, you can find all sort of illegal stuff, or you can say the, the copyright infringements. You know, it doesn't comply with them. Okay, so as you can see, I've just searched the WordPress theme and see how many results I've got. We have WordPress theme pack five, uh, which is from the Theme Forest. In case if you're not aware, Theme Forest is one of the biggest platform with the offer premium themes. So here, this guy has cracked the DV theme, which is uh, you know very famous and elegant themes. Here you have a DV 3.0.31. Here you have Avada themes. Again, this is also a premium theme. I think DV is about uh, eighty or ninety dollar. And one off you can pay about two hundred and fifty or sixty dollar, uh, and it's a lifetime access. So basically, eighty dollar is for uh, for a year subscription. You get premium support and uh, a year worth of update. You have to pay this on a yearly basis. But if you buy their one off package, is about two hundred fifty or sixty. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is elegant theme, or the DV theme. You know we're talking about uh, serious player in WordPress premium themes and somebody has cracked their themes and offering it free on Pirate Bay and you must be thinking about why free okay so here we have uh, okay let's find out its price I think it's uh, if I click and join to download uh, there you go so it's $89 per year and $250 for one-off payment okay 250 which mean for the rest of your life all updates support etc etc so going back here, somebody is giving that free. Hey, hey so you're saving about 80 quid. <laughs> okay, no charm downs at the moment. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. The second one we talk about Avada. Let's go to Avada WP themes. Here you can see it's very sleek, um, professional design themes. Very well offered. Very renowned. Okay, 300,000 plus satisfied customers. Somebody is cheating them and selling. Or offering their copy free on Pirate Bay okay uh, I think it's it's about uh, 50 50 dollar or 60 dollar let me find out the link if I can find it here it must be okay buy now so let's see ah so it's a 60 dollar I just told you guys so it's a 60 dollar basically including six month support so this is great so someone is offering this free here is it not interesting okay how about here you know we have uh, the seven theme WordPress node and this is also premium theme ha huh, how about this B themes okay so they are also giving away B theme B theme is here as you can see again serious player in the market plenty of themes someone has cracked it and again you know the same story why someone now I want you to focus on why someone will give it a free okay as you can see quite a lot of templates within the theme that you can get when once you will buy it uh, let me find out if I can get the price here excellent design you know excellence whizwing it's a lot of templates I really love it you know really love it I, I will also share with you the couple of themes that I'm using and I'm, I'm with them for for really while based on the services and years of experience with them I can um, generally talk about uh, those themes so here in the right top corner I've seen buy now button there you go so it's a $60 again we are going to save $60 if we are going to get it from here so basically all you need to do I think they must be offering it with the with the torrent let's click on it just to let you know guys I'm using this site with ad blocker most of the time they 
they send weird advertisements not only this but the poison links as well you know some of the stuff I talk about in the beginning of the course so be very very careful I'm using a very small plugin and handy plugin this is AdGuard ad blocker available as a Chrome extension you can download and install it and as you can see it has blocked six pop-ups so far <laughs> so um, you know very careful when you access this website you know it's not it's full of all sort of uh, malicious activities that person cannot think of so basically it's a torrent you need to download um, a torrent client and through this you can download this theme okay so a lot of demos are included within this torrent file so Pirate Bay now you know as I said think about why someone will give you free we are talking about here you know these are the guys who have cracked or stripped the serial key from these websites and offering you free and most of the time I would say 9 out of 10 times they are using malicious code in these themes to use your business as a leverage for their dark activities tons of things they can do once you will install these sort of themes you know I think some of them we have already talked about in this course it's a major security risk you are taking if you will get themes from this platform well, let's talk about you know maybe some of you are programmers and you know your stuff and you think okay don't worry we can find out those malicious codes we can remove it and at least we're getting a great theme that's not how simple it is most of the time their malicious code is encrypted and even if you happen to find out that en encrypted code and remove it they use what is called mirroring effect there are certain codes which look after those encrypted codes which mean if you will remove the encrypted codes the other codes will find out and they will disable your website okay so very clever stuff and seriously dangerous <laughs> okay uh, let's let's assume if it is working fine for you uh, let's say you know we, we download and it's working great no issue at all but it won't work forever as these themes require regular updates and you only find them through the theme developers which means once you will contact them they will ask you the serial key for the support and I mean seriously uh, it's not a money-saving activity it's a disaster recipe for your business because you won't be able to provide the serial key hence you are sitting down with no support I will certainly won't recommend this so another website I would like to share this is warrior forums okay uh, mainly this website is for the uh, internet marketers but uh, you get a lot of uh, other stuff as well you know for example uh, WordPress themes here they are selling the themes and you know let me explain my experience and my so far understanding about warrior forms people usually hire programmers and get together you know a very elegant theme and they will sell it so cheap so the whole idea is sell it cheap and sell it to lots of people and once they will get the money then one month or two months down the line there won't be any support available and the company will disappear okay so it's basically quick cash making sort of activity without realizing that they are uh, stabbing people just for the sake of your quits so here you can see you know uh, a person is selling this great theme okay online biz this is a software package that allows you to create this sort of you know elegant theme very very sleeky design well structured I would say you know looks really tempting got amazing themes features 100% responsive great you know Facebook ready design SE optimized design blah 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 you know sort of all marketing promises uh, but it looks good and here they're selling it for four dollar and that's included the developer license and lifetime support imagine a lifetime WordPress support for four dollar <laughs> seriously that's really tempting but this is not the reality they will sell you and you know I uh, I'm sure in a month two months time not more than six months this company will disappear so but they are selling this thing for four dollar good bargain okay How about here that's another one they're selling ultimate solo storm pro basically uh, uh, a package of themes that will allow you to create multiple websites okay and here 
they are selling this for 47 bucks. Well, it's a bit expensive, but you know, usually I've seen stuff here for about uh, uh, between you know, sometime dollar and uh, thirty dollar range, but that's just a little bit beyond. So here we have uh, iSight Stock Biz again, another example, and this gentleman is selling uh, great themes here, and um, it's for twenty seven bucks. Okay. Uh, including support not very well designed page you can find themes here really really cheap and good designs but again I will not recommend you to buy these because first what are the track records of these selling companies usually when you talk about the big companies you know we we mention about the elegant themes or Veda or B theme or um, or love theme or, you know some of the themes I will share with you those bigger themes companies have a track record they are there for years and they are providing great services and rolling out big projects every single year how about them what are their track record are they here to make quick money how long they are in this business or is there open forum where they are showing they are providing support to the users you know that's not true here so I will discourage you to purchase anything from here because in long run you will see the consequences so in nutshell you know these four dollars theme in actual reality they cannot afford support because support people or the developers salaries are way higher than uh, the price they are selling these themes with so it's it's difficult to match or create a balance between selling it low but still you know managing to pay off the developers and running the operations and the rest of the uh, the entire process that comes with the WordPress theme um, selling business you know for average person this is very tempting but trust me if you are in a business and you're doing a serious business this is not something you would like to even think about or come closer to so these websites are basically here to make quick money to get your cash and then the party is over <laughs> okay I'll see you next video welcome back now the websites in this category looks really great professionally made but trust me you don't want to buy your theme from these websites okay these are all doji websites now here the first one I have to share with you is a mafia share here you can see professionally built website you know classic design projecting like they are in the game but these themes have issues and problem you can get these themes free but as I've already explained the problem you can get into okay the second one here is themearchive.ws again these themes are free uh, you can download it and install it but as I said before these are all dodgy or cracked versions of the themes you definitely don't want to get any themes from these websites third one I have in this category is themelock.com same thing you know try to look into their presentation and understand their psychology they are luring by giving you a very professional look you know this is what they are they are in the game they just want you to buy or they just want you to get it free okay most of the time these websites offer you free okay unless until they have something to sell to you on the later on stage so all these themes here you know mindful and the fourth one is the black hat word again please do not do not download anything from here especially if you are in a business and it's not going to help you here you will find a lot of top WordPress themes that are paid themes people are selling on theme forest or other premium platforms you will find them here free so especially in a download section after downloading you know you will get about 20 themes 30 themes 40 themes please do not fall into this trap the reason I'm showing you these diverse range of websites you know sometimes we can get into the trap that people are presenting really professionally the look of the website is professionally done and you know nothing there depict that they are you know selling you a trap or offering you a trap uh, but this one obviously a big time no no and here I've selected one comment and he says try the templates and the themes in download section find the theme that you want and use it at your own risk because these crack versions are no longer supported so you can have those issues where theme need updates but you cannot update it because it's a cracked version you know the malicious codes for for hackers they can use or exploit your website now here is another one this is new WordPress theme uh, they offer uh, two kinds of model a free model in which they will place uh, their advertisement links on your website which you cannot control and most of the time those are encrypted 
and the second aspect of license is you can buy uh, the license from 60 or 70 quid now here's one website I would like to show you how difficult it is to install these themes you know the themes we buy from the professional authorities those are so easy to install that it's just a matter of uploading them to your WordPress platform but here let me share with you one of the example this is a v12 theme now you can see browse your WP admin forward slash plugin then search for the King composer then install and activate the plugin download the v12 theme demo contents go into this folder you know do this blah 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 you know who got that time to follow the seven or eight steps just to install one thing it should be a matter of a couple of clicks okay and again there are no guarantee the thing you are going to get as a free is definitely going to help you in your business okay so new wpthemes.com I would strongly avoid it as well now since we have massively talked about the themes now let's talk about the plugins as well uh, the same websites offer uh, free plugins as well going back to the Pirate Bay I'm accessing it through the proxy and uh, here you can see if I search for the WordPress plugins I will see a range of premium plugins that I can download and use it the Yoast premium SEO plugin offered by the Yoast company okay 30 or 35 quid here it is free a uh, WooCommerce plugin mega pack volume free okay slider revolution now this is bad slider revolution it's a premium plugin and offers a slideshow on your website okay now here it is free now remember in the start of the course I talk about a few of the vulnerabilities that occur due to the slider revolution keep that information in perspective now let's have a look here they are offering slider revolution version 5.3.0.1 plus add-ons free okay and now let's check the latest version of slider revolution and uh, if I go to the Code Canyon website here I can see the slider revolution it's a $25 plugin and the version is 5.4 and here it's a 5.3 so you are already downloading a backward version which is no longer supported and need upgrades and you are inheriting a vulnerability so that's how you need to think so I would strongly suggest for the sake of your business for the sake of your you know long-term prosperity if you are in the online game do not use these plugins or theme from this website here you can see another one massive add-ons for visual composer yours premium again we have a booking and appointment version 2.4.3 WooCommerce WordPress plugin okay and opt-in monster this is for the lead or for the forms uh, email subscription etc and we have code Canyon responsive flipbook WordPress plugin now this is also a premium plugin if we go to the website here we can see it's a $35 plugin and and you can get it here free trust me guys it's not even worth it this $25 $30 $35 you know saving it's gonna get you big time so how you can download it so basically you just open it uh, and as I previously said uh, they offer torrents so you download the torrent clients and you can uh, download this stuff from there again putting my personal note and statement out there do not buy purchase download anything from the website that I've just mentioned or explained previously in this course this is going to hurt you big time I think we have enough talk about the themes and plugins so let's now understand what options are available and which platforms are really secured to get updated and well supported themes okay now here's a question you must be thinking are there any places where you can get free stuff which is still secure and you can use it yes absolutely there is and the first one I'm going to share is a wordpress.org any theme that you will find on this website is absolutely free and also there is a peace of mind that whenever any developer or any company that submit their theme to this website wordpress.org they conduct their due diligence and make sure the theme is properly secured or complied with their security standards so once the theme passes their criteria they accept the theme and offer it here free so you can download any theme or plugin from here free let's have a look okay so I'm here at wordpress.org and if I click on themes I will be able to see all the themes that are featured popular or latest and I can also search through the filters like you know I want uh, blog theme with a custom header 
two columns or three columns okay and I can apply these filters and it will only show me those results let's check the featured themes first so here we have featured themes looks really good and these are all free you can click on any theme and it will give you a detail about what this theme is for and who is supporting and from where they're supporting and you can also check the rating and looking at this side I can easily see it's a brand new submission and there is no rating you know if you want to go for a free theme I would highly suggest go for the themes where you have some sort of ratings and you can check the people's feedback okay if the feedback is good stable then, then it's good to go for that theme let's check any other theme uh, most popular okay 2017 if I click here there you go I have some ratings here so five stars 27 and one star only two which mean so most of the people have good confidence in this theme and you can see active installed more than one million okay good theme so this is the number one place if you want to get a free theme and the only problem you will face is because these themes or plugins are free uh, the support will not be there and then when you need it so it won't be like urgent next day or 24 hour I mean they're not committed to support you there and then there will be some sort of support available but when and that's where the gray area is uh, we need to think about it if they are offering free and supporting us 24 7 how they are making money so we need to understand they will offer it free and when we will have a problem then we have to pay them so better off paying them for the premium themes and take 24 hour support okay we'll talk about some other platforms soon but at the moment just stick to the free resources so from here we can download free theme and the second method to get the same themes is through the WordPress dashboard if I go back to the WordPress dashboard here's my site I'm on the back end of my site under the appearance and I click the themes here I can select wordpress.org themes and now I will be able to same themes within my dashboard rather than leaving the dashboard and going out on the next page and searching it there download it from there and then after upload it into my dashboard I can search wordpress.org directly from my dashboard so this is how you can do it and here you can see uh, 2017 is available and rest of the themes as well same thing you can apply filters here and it will search or display only the certain templates that meet your criteria so since we are on a feature tab we can see the same templates are available so let's select this one and we can see the rating and we can install it from here directly okay so that's another way to access the WordPress theme again conduct your due diligence when you will be selecting make sure you are checking the reviews you're checking their forums and there is some sort of support available if you are going for a free version so let's go back to the wordpress.org website and here we can see we have a support form available let's click on this I'm gonna open it into new tab I just want to see how often do they uh, respond to their users okay we have a question here just posted 14 minutes ago uh, one hour ago no response 10 hours ago no response 22 hours ago no response and we have one day and one hour ago okay uh, there is a conversation initiated and uh, all I'm interesting to see whether there are many queries where more than 24 hours or 48 hours have gone and there is no response uh, we can easily see here you know two days six hours only one question which means there is no response let's go to the second page so we have four days four days ago no response we have five days ago no response five days ago no response okay six days ago no response so guys make your own mind the idea is not to put you off from using the free resources but you know you have to balance that if you are getting something free then you have to live with the you know less prompted support and if you are running a business where you cannot afford a downtime where you cannot afford any any risk uh, you need a solution there and then then I will highly suggest uh, buy premium themes rather than free themes okay so this is the number one resource where you can get free themes okay now let's check some other resources where you can buy good quality themes um, the number one here is themeify 
themify.me they have brilliant themes here trusted 67,700 customers okay pretty much covered all the niches and also their support is really good uh, very renowned in the industry so get all the themes for $79 okay good bargain so you can use them and again this $79 means you have to pay that on yearly basis because you are, are not only buying the themes you are getting the support as well so themeify and then after we have a fever F E V R. I absolutely love this theme and also their company. Great guys, great support, and I definitely will encourage you if you are looking for premium themes, give these guys a chance. You know, you will be surprised to see their themes cover quite a range of disciplines: blogging, e-commerce, agency website, marketing website, etc., etc. And fully responsive comes with the uh, composer as well, so you can build your website pretty much drag and drop and great support available from these guys so this is my recommendation again I will put all these links into the resource page you will find the links here at the bottom WordPress themes and plugins and you can click and you can go to these websites directly okay so we have fever and then after we have ithemes.com again brilliant one they have quite a range of themes available you can buy from here and their support is good as well and then after we have Aislinn I personally use them guys the service is great theme is great I love it they have two themes a very powerful multi-purpose themes available the one is paddle and you can see very sleek artistic classic design and another one is care and you can buy their themes for about I think forty dollars let's have a look so FEVER fever it's available for $46 again with the support or six month support and you can extend the 12 months to $12 total about $59 you get a year worth of support and you can use any of their theme okay and uh, another one we have a paddle it's available for $42 okay and the last one I mentioned about the care it, it related quite a lot of niches like you know healthcare yoga childcare nutrition business etc etc so same theme a multi-purpose brilliant uh, it's only available for $34 so I will put their links in the resource section as well so I'm recommending Fever and I'm recommending Islin both great companies great support and I will endorse them because I'm personally using their services so these are the resources you can use to get uh, to get themes and how about plugins let's talk about plugins as well we have if we go back to our dashboard which is here now here if we click on the plugin site plugins and click add new and here we can install or download any plugin again this is giving us access directly to the wordpress.org website if I cross compare this to the WordPress org website here you can see the plugin section as well if you click on the plugins it will give you access to all the plugins okay so I find it easy to access it through the dashboard rather than going to the to their website so here we have featured plugins popular recommended favorites and premium premium again those plugins where you have to pay to get a support and quite a lot of their plugins are free but you have to make your mind that you want to go for free or you want to upgrade their free versions too paid version so number one is jetpack I'm personally using this great plugin this is for security so all you have to do is to search for jetpack here jetpack and it will appear the plugin you need to install click install here because I've already installed it it is showing active once you will install it it will ask you to activate it press again and it will activate uh, once this plugin is installed again we are talking about over 1 million installation so you know a lot of people have a confidence in this and it is a part of WordPress now as well once you will install it it will appear in your dashboard left hand side you can see the jetpack click here go to the dashboard and here you have to activate it it will ask you to register it via email just sign up with the email and it will give you access to a free version again the paid version you have to pay amount for that in a free version you will be able to see your site statistics and also the good thing about it it comes with the the security protection it will block your website for any brute force attack as you can see the 39 attacks has been blocked so if you haven't installed it I will highly encourage you to install this plugin and sign up and you will take a leverage of its 
security. So let's go back to the plugin side. I click add new and let's go for popular. This is you know updraft plus this is for the backup. We will cover this in a master class because this is a basic introduction to the security and I'm trying to cover all the bare minimums that you need to increase your awareness around the security and how you can protect yourself online. We'll cover this in advanced master class and uh, we have more plugins here. We have Yoast SEO. I've covered this plugin in a lot more depth in um, SEO master class which is also available for you guys and um, WordFence where is... there you go. We have WordFence here. This is also a great uh, security plugin. We'll configure this in a detail in a master class. Uh, again, you know, a lot of these plugins are free. Their basic functionality is free, and uh, here you can check the stats. You know, one million, one plus million people uh, have activated this plugin, and this plugin is activated as well. WP Cache, Super Cache. This is to increase the performance of your website. This is also good. Okay, and um, we'll cover Contact Seven in a online marketing or blogging course. So yeah, this is how you can install the plugins. I will encourage you to install Jetpack and sign up and this will cover your basic security of your WordPress. And again, as I said, again, the detailed WordPress security or the hardcore concept we will be covering in a masterclass course, which I will be releasing very soon. So let's move on and let's check how we can ensure that our WordPress website and plugins are continuously updating because most of the vulnerabilities comes when the updates are released but we generally neglect to update them in a timely manner okay I'll see you in next video okay now let's talk about how to keep your WordPress updated all the time how this is possible is it achievable or not if you remember in the beginning of this course we talk about most of the vulnerabilities and issues come when we forget to update our themes or plugins and as I disclosed, WordPress.org, they project all the updates they do and the vulnerabilities on their website so that information gets into the hands of hackers very quickly. So what we need to ensure is we implement those changes or updates to our WordPress installation or to the themes or plugins as quickly as possible. Now there are two ways we can achieve this. The one is hard coding. We go back into wp-config file and inject few codes there. Now if I go back to the wordpress.org website and here I search for you know configure automatic background updates so it will give me this article and it will go through how I can inject this code in wp-config to ensure the updates are coming automatically or my themes or plugins will pick up updates automatically. On the same page it mentions about WordPress CLI conflict. Okay. And personally speaking, I do not encourage people to mess with the wp-config.php file directly because that's where your entire WordPress structural information is there. So any, any slight modifications which you're not aware of, it can directly affect the functionality of your website. So be very, very careful. Again, in the master class, we'll look into how we can use other resources to achieve the same objectives. Now here I have an easy solution for this and we will install a plugin that will help us to achieve the same objective. If I go back to my dashboard here under the plugins if I click on add new and here I'm going to search WP updates setting plugin okay now we are going to install this plugin which is WP updates setting install now and it's going to ask us to activate it so let's activate this plugin Okay. After activating it, okay, if I go down to settings and here I will see a new option updates. If I click there, now it is asking me what kind of updates do you want to install. It's just a matter of pressing enable and disable. So I'm saying updates notification, yes, send me updates notification. WordPress core updates, these are the updates that comes from the WordPress.org. Minor updates mean when there are not much significantly change but certain fixes for example if the WordPress is running 4.0.1 and the new update is 4.0.2 this will class as minor update and if there is upgrade like from 4.1 to 4.2 that will be a major update okay so I'm saying the minor yes update it straight away 
I want to update my plugins as well and themes too and then after I'm going to press save changes. Now once this is done my plugin is configured now any updates that will come it will automatically install them unless until you are using certain plugins which are premium and you need updates directly from your developers or the companies from where you have bought the plugins or themes okay on this note we concluded the basic security is all about making sure that you are fully aware of all three levels of security threat how you can counter them and the softwares and solutions that are there to help you and then after we looked into how we can securely select themes and plugins and then after and then after we looked into some security tips and keeping your WordPress up to date all the time a plugin if you want to learn more about the hardcore stuff like configuring WordPress securely right from the start a fresh new installations uh, the database protection and the directory protections etc etc I will be releasing master course very soon and it will be available for you the purpose of this course was to create a basic awareness around security so people can easily get familiar with the bare minimum they need to run an online website. I thank you very much for your time and I will be looking forward to see you in my premium course. Thanks once again.